The Disaster Relief Fund is certainly involved in many efforts, and one being our support of the nurses to visit the Philippines and help out with disaster relief and restoration. Late in 2013, a devastating typhoon struck the Philippines, causing massive destruction. I was at work when I found out about it, and I work with a lot of Filipinos, and many of them were really upset about what happened to their families, or they were worried that something might have happened. They couldn't call, phone lines were down. They started reaching out to me, wondering if the union was going to participate in any type of disaster relief. If there's a need and I can help our members rise, and do more than say so, they go. I contacted the union and they, from the get-go, were extremely supportive. Before I knew it, I was on an airplane going to the Philippines. Every day we would travel to a different village. It was usually anywhere from like one to two hours from where we were staying in Rojas City. These villages were really, really remote. Many of the villages that we worked in, they didn't have running water, electricity because of the typhoon. When we get there, it's, it's usually um, a school, an open courtyard, uh, something along those lines. We would set up clinic wherever they had made room for us. The villages would know that we were coming. So there would be people set up already writing their names down, setting up, this is the first line, this is the second line, you have a pediatrics line, you have the dentist line. There is definitely a lot of poverty. Sometimes people would come, you know, never having seen like a dentist or a doctor or would see a doctor maybe like every one to two years if they had like the opportunity to do so. Patients that had broken bones many years ago that they never correctly repaired. Many of them were farmers. So there's always chronic back pain. Blood pressure medications or antibiotics or even a multivitamin, whatever we had, we would try to give them, you know, something to help them. Their main diet is fish, salted fish, because a lot of them don't even have refrigerators. So the only way to preserve this fish would be through salt. So salted fish, high sodium diet, high blood pressure, untreated blood pressure. We were trying to see like the elderly and the children first and just treat the patients as best we could.